Severny Morskoy flot is going to make the first operational test of a new missile system. Your task is to insert a commando team whose objective is to collect all the necessary intelligence information on Canadian and U.S. East Coast defense system and deployment. And specifically, you must determine if U.S. intelligence agencies know about this mission and plan any submarine maneuvers to monitor the test. When your mission is completed, your team will return to Russia by commercial Aeroflot flight. Go to 4406 North, 6428 West, and insert the commando team at 2200 local time. Do not be late. The commando mission will be in deep trouble if U.S. forces detect your presence at any time during this mission. Note that American and Canadian naval forces play war games in these waters all the time. You must not take any hostile actions against other ships that will be there. If ships are detected near the insertion route, delay or terminate the mission. Управление Северного и Морского флота will notify you when your team is safely hidden. Before receiving that message, you must move to the east, but remain in the area in case mission is terminated. After the message is received, continue as directed and use normal patrol routines. Well, здравствуйте, здравствуйте, welcome back. Okay, hey everyone, FPS Chesley here. Welcome back to Subcommand. And we are starting the Akula campaign. Oh yeah, they got this thing at full bore and it's just going to drag. So I'm just going to bring that back in. Honestly, I don't even know if I really need it on. So we are playing as Akula, known as Shuka to the Russians. And we are going to be doing this campaign. So all the missions are going to be basically the same except... I think a few of them are actually different, and then of course we're playing as the Russians, so different objectives and different enemies and stuff of that nature. So it will be fun, and I'll be getting a major Russian accent <laughs> in these videos, not like I didn't already, okay. What is the, the word on the, the total? We'll, we'll, we'll do 100 meters, that's about a boat length, a little shorter than a boat length. I'm not sure if that's enough acuity to actually see anything. Hello. That sounds a big old shit right there. So this is going to be fun because I've not done this. I've never done this many Akula videos before. Not even close. This is going to go up to like 60 videos probably of just Akula. So this is going to be trial by fire on getting my Akula, Akula wheels flowing here or whatever you want to call it. So that will be good both for you and for me because... I've, I indeed have limited experience on the Russian boats compared to the American boats. I'm by far am better at using the American boats. That's because of this. This this azimuthal type sonar display here, which I just find so ever so eh. I don't know. That oiler's really close. I'm seeing four frequencies on him. Like, holy crap. Okay. suppose we could try and build a solution on him if we wanted to, but I don't know. Um, yeah, we're not seeing anything else right now, but I don't think I have that much acuity on the toad right now, so I'm going to let out a little more slack. Let's go for 50 more meters and see what we get, because it looked a little noisy. 
And uh, there should be some sort of three. There should be American surface ships about. And there's obviously like a Seawolf and or 688i in the area because we played this mission as a Seawolf. Now, I don't remember where I was as the Seawolf in this mission, but I remember I didn't find the Akula. But I didn't go looking for it too terribly hard. So we have to be at the drop off in two hours. I should see what my ETA is because we might have to just go faster speed than I want to just to get there in time. But we're going to have to average about five knots to get there, I think, because it's about. It's over 10 nautical miles away. Uh, we need to get there at 2200 within one within one nautical mile of the drop-off point. I think they already added that in there. We can see what that will do us within a nautical mile of the drop-off point. Okay, so we don't have to be exactly right on top of it, but we can be close enough. So that gives us a little more leniency in how fast we can go, but... Probably have to keep that four knots up there. Set revolutions for four knots. Um, I'm, this is not a situation where I want to do sprint and drift. I just want to do the minimum speed necessary to make that time by 2200 so I can get there closer or sooner than that if I want to. Direct the commandos. Be alert. U.S. forces may be departing Halifax and conducting ASW en route to home port. Avoid counter detection. After commandos leave your ship, proceed to this coordinate and monitor your radio for a release message from Northern Fleet Headquarters. Let me mark that coordinate. 4345 64 East. Whoa, wait, whoa, oh. 4345 64. Wait, what? 4345 64 East. It says East. Let's just say West. That's a typo. Oh, right here. Okay. So they want me to. After the commandos get. Rated. Oh, so I'm not expected to see the message until I get back to the exit location here. Jeez. Feel as though you cannot complete this mission. Proceed directly to the exit area and report for debrief. However, be warned that such a cowardice will be not not be overlooked by your You just told me in the briefing to quit the mission if it gets dicey. You son of a bitch. Bureaucrats. Okay. Let's see here. So we got this big oil air. Really big. Big old some bitch. Steaming right over Roll here. Acoustics. New contact. Got it. Bearing. One. These sound like he had the inflection Eight. of Designated a torpedo Sierra. in the water going Three. on there. I was about to be like, what? What? That is not to happen right now. <laughs> yeah, it's close. I could work on a solution if I want, but I don't really feel like good. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see what our uh, time to insertion is. Let's see right here. Three hours and 45 minutes. Not acceptable in Soviet Union. No, it's not the Soviet Union. This is... Russia, Mother Russia. Set revolution for six nights. Rodina. Okay. Um, let's go to the narrow here. I'm not seeing anything else right now. All is quiet on this eastern front or whatever. I'm out of water. Oh, here, give me a second here. Okay, let's get to it here. Um, oh, I didn't pause it. I was doing stuff for a few minutes and didn't pause it. It's fine. It's a very slow mission. Okay, so... <sighs> six knots. Our ETA is two hours and twenty... That's still not good enough. Still not good enough. We gotta go faster. Eight knots. Seven knots might be sufficient, but we're going up to eight knots because we're a little... F we need 152 or better, and we just about have that. Man, really? Damn, we're pushing the envelope here. I'd spent too much time jerking around, going around at slow speeds at the beginning there. I guess I didn't really mess around too much, but every little bit counts, so... We're going to be moving here. We're going to be moving. So we're just got to time lapse and make sure we watch our watch our narrowband properly here. If someone comes into view, I don't know if we don't really have that much room to slow down here for any extended amount of time. It's a pretty tight envelope here they got going on. Oh, and I don't want to run aground, so let's get a little shallower. And we got 40 beneath the keel, but I just don't want to risk anything. Depth control I Really don't want to risk anything like that. Here we go. New contact. Control acoustics. New contact. Bearing zero two three. Not Designated sure which is which. Sierra. We can do a little Four. turn Control here. Control acoustics. New contact. Bearing wait, two two wait, nine. Designated okay, that's Sierra. wait. What? Five. Who the hell's? Oh, is this the old? This is the old Euler contact. I don't really. I can't drop from the. Can't drop from the the overlay screen. Oh, I have to get used to that again. Okay. Sierra one, where are you at? Drop that crap. Don't care. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick little shimmy shimmy coco pop shimmy shimmy rock. Right Trying to figure out what's going on with this uh, this track here, man. We're going fast as a quick turn. 
Back to subcommand. I was thinking about doing this with like reinforce alert and then the subcommand missions in dangerous waters. I don't know. I might look into that. I don't know if I feel about switching on the fly. Maybe I'll save that for the LA in a ship that I actually know how to work. So, oh man, we got conformal washout. Jeez. Really pushing it here, ain't we? Okay, who's uh, Sierra 5 false? So, that looks like that's the old uh, group coming in there. So let's resume waypoint follow. ETA to drop off 138. Very well. That's really pushing the envelope there. I don't know if this takes into account what your angle to the waypoint actually is. I think it just does speed because angle, if you're not pointing towards it, you're not going to get to it. So I don't, I think that was like a, a compromise they made on that fact. Like, can't tell where he's going to be pointing or what he's doing. So we're going to be getting there at 2158. That's really toit. I'm going to up it to 9 knots while we can, just to try and get a little more speed here. We we'll drop down. A, we can go back down to 60 meters in depth here. Go to depth zero. Six, uh, but we can't stay like that for too depth much longer. But why not? So 9 knots, try and give myself... I want to give myself a little bit of extra room to maneuver if I need to. So now we have toad washout. Is that right? Why would the toad be washout now? Uh, let me, let's give it a few seconds to see what that does. The toad should not be washed out at nine knots. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we're running blind here. Toad should not be washed out at nine knots. I don't know what's up with that. I guess that's a sub-command thing. Um, yeah. Is that a stock dangerous waters thing? I don't think it's that low in stock DW. Or is that Russian toad array thing? I don't know if I remember the seal of toad washing out that quickly in sub-command. That could be a Russian toad thing. Who knows? Damn, that's a really sour advantage of that, or disadvantage, excuse me. There's no way, shape, or form of advantage. So 125. I feel, I'm, I'm no, I've been noticing I'm slurring my words a little bit. I guess I'm a lot more tired than I think I am. Got five hours of sleep the other night. I was up late drinking with friends. <laughs> so an hour gives us 21, 22, plus 25 gives us 47. So 21, 47. That's a pretty good bit of margin. So I'm gonna just going to keep this for a few more minutes here. Just so we get some speed going on. And I need to drop it back down to 8. I'm just going to drop it down now. Leave a good Zip chunk of margin. For eight nuts. Um, 133. Okay. 132. That would be... F That's still like the 58. It's still kind of pushing it. I'm not sure what this group up here is doing. But they're getting closer, it seems. Their signal strength is increasing. I'm seeing three frequencies on there. About other arrays here. That's the Euler. So it's not in range of any other array. Well, hold on. No? Okay. The contrast on this isn't bad. It seems to be better than the contrast in uh, Dangerous Waters, at least in my opinion. So we're going to go for a few more minutes here, and then I'm going to can this. That is not Tycon. That is not Gnarly Burke. What is this? That's a 60, so we know that much. Uh, Subcommand frequency sheet is around here somewhere. Fourth frequency was there for a bit. It just dropped out. Tycon. Okay, that third frequency is not even close to being Tycon. Are you kidding me? Euler. Oh, is that just the Euler still? I think it is still just the Euler. I don't think I... Well, maybe. I mean, that one says Euler, but this one refuses to want to say Euler. But it's the same thing. It's the toad. It's the mirror track. Hmm. Okay, so I think I might have been freaking out for nothing there. But yeah, we're our margin's still kind of crazy on this here. <laughs> we need to make up some time. Let's go 10 knots here for a little bit. And try and make up a little bit of speed on it. At that point, I feel like I should just balls to the wall. Because the area seems pretty empty. But still, we're making a noticeable amount of noise here. Not not considered to be too terribly much, but we are making noise. Cylindrical is still perfectly fine. So perhaps I should stay on that for what that's worth. So there's the oiler down there. Doesn't want to acknowledge that that's happening. Yeah, nothing else I can see on the cylindrical here. And the oiler just dropped off too, in fact, on signal. I'm sure it's a signal strength thing. Oh, bottom's getting a little close. Let's get a little shot. Oh, 5-1 is fine. 
Go to depth zero. Fine. I'm still like 60 meters. feet, but depth I just don't want to I. risk it being that low. But yeah, I, I think I don't think this is a function of how far the toad is out. Maybe it is. Let's mess with that real Instead, quick and see what we get. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> Retracted that went out very quickly. This 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 thing is notorious for not rolling over quick enough. It's not very good to do it on time warp, unlike the American Toad, which you can obviously see with the, the real time bar, but these roller things do not roll over very quickly, so it's hard to tell what it's doing. Stop that there. Slow down, slow down, slow down. That's big. Whatever the hell that is. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Okay, it's slowing down to eight knots, so we got an hour. So five, 21.55, so we made up three minutes there. What the hell is that? The oiler, did it like cross back over my path? Did it like go over me at some point? Jeez, man. I don't want something to crash into the top of me here. It's a little, a little freaky, a little freaky dicky Dutch. Don't mean anything by that. It's a movie quote. Um. Go to depth. Yeah, that's most assuredly an oiler. Depth control we have high frequency confirmation on the target. One ping only, please. <laughs> uh, but there are two tracks here. There are two tracks. Not sure if I have this other one marked. I'm not sure if the sonar is going to see it. Control acoustics. There you go. New contact. Bearing. It's saying Zero, LA, but that is in no way, shape, or form correct. Sierra, six. Um, but it's also down here, so I'm not sure which one is which, so we're going to mark both of them. Er, mm, hey. Now I'm confused. Maybe it's two Oilers. It could be two Oilers. That's also a possibility. <laughs> um, very much so. All right, so I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Welcome back to Submarine LPs, the Subcommand Akula campaign. This is going to be in for the long haul. This is going to be going on for a few months. This probably won't wrap up till January or February or something, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to play as the Akula. It'll be challenging. But yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. If you didn't see the video, I've hit 1,000 subscribers. Almost have 300,000 views. It's all thanks to you guys. So have a good one. Take it easy. See you.